Hey guys, we're gonna be making a catapult today. So we're gonna need these parts. Gonna need a tennis ball. Gonna need a bunch of rubber bands, whatever you can find. You're gonna need a couple of pieces of wood. And this thing you can buy at Home Depot. I understand that it is used to attach the two by fours to the floor or something. Also like a piece of wood and a couple of you know, random pieces. All right, let's start. It is best to use like a heavy pieces of wood. In my case, I'm using like this square blocks of oak because when the catapult shoots, there'll be some recoil. So it will be better to have some weight here. All right, so let's go ahead and screw it in. Next, we're gonna find an arm about this long. As you can see, it's about one, two, almost three. And we're gonna drill a hole about inch and a half from the edge. And the reason is when it shoots, when the arm swings, it will have to come to a stop right here. And the thing is already built in. And I did drill the holes here. So I'm gonna take a pin with uh, two washers. You can use any type of washers. Oops, not like that. Like that, like that. And it's gonna sort of hold it inside of the channel. At the same time, those plastic things are fairly slippery, which is good in our case. When it swings like that, I just installed a piece of wood in there like that. It will be coming to a complete stop. Otherwise your ball will be flying sort of like to the floor. And next, we need to install like a rubber holder on the arm, which is about this long. So I drilled a hole and screwed it in. It's easy enough. So next, we need something to attach our rubber in the front. You can just put something in here, but what I found is um, I kind of needed it a little bit forward from the piece that I had. So I used one of these and I bent it like this. And somehow that force vector or something like that, it works better like this. It shoots better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. Good enough. And whatever rubbers you have, I have like a bunch of different ones, so I'm gonna use whatever I have. And if you use this type of bungee cords, you just need to make sure that it's not flying off. See, that's what I was saying, that if you don't have a brake here, it's gonna be swinging like this. And most likely that whatever you're throwing will be going down instead of going in that 45 degree trajectory. Okay, so we're gonna put a piece of wood or something into those two of these thingies here. I just need to unbend it also. All right, so I installed the brake in there, as you can see. We've got the rubber attached. We'll do the reinforcement later. Basically just put as many as we can to make it more powerful. And what we need to do now, we need to make that thing from a tennis ball. So basically just cut it in half, make two holes, and with a, attach it somehow. Just goes, goes on like this. Okay. And basically, our catapult is ready. We just need to reinforce this. Yep. All right, guys, let's try it. All right. Let me see how many feet it is. Hey, one more time, guys. Yes, you can add more rubber bands. That's all right. That's good enough. Not quite as good, but pretty good. All right, guys, be safe.